Hey all, and welcome back to Fuzzy Ducks of Gaming and a new video on the channel. Uh, just going through the high-end bow that I'm trying to craft and really to share the paint. I've been going through, um, just quickly go through the process of crafting a bow if you want to spend an absolute fortune on a tornado shot build. So there's a reason I haven't bought any videos out in the last week is it's literally just been grinding currency to try and craft this bow. And I've had insane bad luck, which I'll go through in a moment. Uh, but what I thought we'd first do is just bring up Craft of Exile and then we'll go through what I'm looking to do in terms of crafting a bow uh, and what I think is the best way to do it. So what I'm looking for, if we go into my character quickly, I'm looking for this plus two arrows bow with triple LE damage of at least T3 and upwards on all three. And then you then need to craft some suffixes to get attack speed and crit chance. Um, so this is still work in progress, which I'll go through uh, in a moment. Uh, but I just want to run through kind of just in case you were thinking about doing it or you've seen one on trade and you're not sure if it's worth the money is go through the cost of actually crafting this. Um, so the first thing you'll need is a spine bow, preferably a six link base with bows fire two additional arrows fractured, obviously not uh, corrupted. Uh, and the price last time I looked was around 27 divines for the base. And just, so before we even start crafting, it's 27 divines off the bat to get your base. We then want to roll three Ellie damage rolls of at least T3 or upwards. So we're going to essence one, and then we are going to look how much it would be to get the other two. So we want minimum tier three fire, and we want minimum of T3 cold. And if we go up here, it will tell you what the odds are of hitting those, and it is 997 to one. So basically, it's about a thousand tries to get your prefixes. Now, it might not necessarily take this long. You've also got the option if you hit like a T1 and you've got an open prefix, you can slam or you can try a harvest dog. There's a few things you can do. And but on average, you're looking at around 4,000 chaos, probably more because Barnum and Bolt, you're not going to get them for four. Um, so let's say 4,500 chaos to get your prefixes sorted out. So if we go into a calculator, we do 400 by the 250. It's about 18 divines to get your prefixes. So that's already up to 14 divines. You then have to hope that your suffixes aren't full. If they are, you're going to have to annul because we need to clean the suffixes. So if you're lucky, and you roll it and you've got an open suffix, then this is the stage I'm at, which is you would go over to the bench. You do prefixes cannot be changed. You then go over into your stash, get a scour. Scour that, you've then got your prefixes and then we need to craft the suffixes. Now there's two ways of doing this, both ways, require another prefixes cannot be changed so everything that you do is going to be four divines a pop before you even get into attempting to craft the bow and what we're looking for is decent attack speed decent crit chance and preferably attributes along with one of the two so there's two ways that you can do this you can just go into harvest to your haughty crafting station go over here and then search speed is super expensive this is about eight divines a pop to do the whole process um, and it's going to be add a new speed modifier, remove a random modifier. It can only remove the prefixes cannot be changed mod. Then it's either going to put on projectile speed or attack speed. And it's about 50-50. It's slightly more weighted uh, to projectile speed, which we'll look at in a minute. Or you can go Ashleen. So you would put the bow in like this with Ashleen. She'll remove prefixes cannot be changed and add a valve mod. You then want to craft either damage per frenzy, power or endurance charge. And that will block the most you can really for this sort of unveiling and i think it's about a one in four if not slightly better to unveil either attack speed with attributes or crit chance with attributes and then you just craft the missing um suffix and it would be the same if you do it in harvest it would be hit attack speed and then craft uh, crit chance and attributes from your bench now the reason for the title of the video if you bring up my notepad here for my craft it's basically 52 divines to have my first shot at hitting a suffix and it failed and then every single one after that is around seven divines because you need the harvest juice, you need the sacred blossom, you need um, four divines to do the double um, prefixes cannot be changed. And so far I've failed 11 harvest crafts and four actually nine of the harvest crafts in a row were projectile speed. And then the next two were T5 attack speed and all four Asleens just gave me nothing um, that, was, that can be used. And so the odds of hitting nine uh, projectile speeds in a row is over 500 to 1. So I've been super, super unlucky. And then I thought it can't get any worse. I hit attack speed, bottom tier. Hit attack speed again, bottom tier. 
And then my last one, which you've just seen me mod, was a Foul Ashley. So we're just going to go into Craft of Exile again, just to have a look at the odds. Um, so you're just going to go into any crafting method. We're going to get rid of all of these. We're not interested. Uh, we just want to look at speed. And what it will do is just get rid of everything that isn't speed. So as you can see, it's a 55.5% chance to hit projectile speed and 44.4% chance to get attack speed. So obviously rolling projectile speed nine times in a row is pretty unlucky. All I was really after was tier three attack speed, which if we include the tier two and the T1, you're looking at about 22%. So it's better than a one in five that you should hit one of these. Uh, and I haven't done yet. And it's getting super, super frustrating because all I want to do is get this bow and then I can start farming for either a Mage Blood or a Headhunter. So if we have a look here, I've spent 157. If I fail again, it's about 165. And the average cost, as I say, is around 65 divines to get like a T3 um, bow. Uh, maybe a bit more, maybe 75. Um, so I've almost spent a Headhunter more than what is expected. If I wasn't bothered about a bow, I'm about half a mage blood in terms of um, investment. So, yeah, very frustrating, very unlucky, but there's not much you can do. Um, I am really enjoying this league, which is what's kind of spurred me on to carry on farming. So what I thought we'd do is maybe get some luck with, since I'm recording a video and see if we can finally hit this ridiculous attack speed. Um, so, as I say, it's nine projectile speeds so far and two tier five attack speeds. So... Always double check your bow before you go and do any sort of crafting on something like this. Last thing I want to do is put like 150 divines of investment down the pan. So we have our three prefixes. We've got our fracture and we've got prefixes cannot be changed. So again, all we're going to do with our last remaining currency is we're going to do speed again. Excuse me. I'm going to have a break for suspense while I let my whinging cat in. So the cat has turned up. Maybe she's a good luck charm. She has been in here for every attempt so far. So I'm thinking she might be the opposite. So we will hope and pray because I, I do think if this doesn't hit, I'm just going to take a break from a few days from the game and just, or maybe even just forget about the bow. It's kind of one of these things where I'm actually just expecting projectile speed every time I craft. So we need to, oh no, we've got one there. We've got that speed, um, go, didn't do it, try again. 10% attack speed. So we're moving up with it tier four. So it's still not good enough for what I've spent on the bow, but it's usable. So for now, I am just, and it's hit the top tier. So for now, I'm just going to exalt craft it and be done with it for now. We'll fix it later once I've got a lot more money. Uh, maybe farmed a couple of Asleens up. So we'll go in here, craft our crit chance and attributes, and then we'll be done with it. So if you just go crit. And then I think that'll do us for now. I really don't think there's much more I can do. I'm fed up of this bow. It's just, I've just had enough. So this is the bow for now. If I end up having hundreds of divines, then I'll try again um, when I don't have to do it like one at a time. Um, but yeah, that's it for the video. It's just really a quick video to show you how to spend 164 divines to get a 64 divine bow. Um, so yeah, don't do what I've done. If you want to craft this bow, see what it's available for trade. In fact, before we log off, let's just have a look. So if we just have a look at my bow, because it's not very good. So it is Ellie damage of only just over a thousand. Got crit chance, bows fire two additional arrows. Let's have a look to see what we've got. So apparently there's one for 52 divines. So if we go on to trade this two, there is this one here, which is like three arrows. It's pretty insane. Um, it could be better. Blood Ragecraft isn't amazing. Uh, but obviously, overall, that's an insane bow. But we've got this one here for 52 divines, which I think is underpriced. Considering we said if you were to craft this with buying a base, it's about 45 divines to just get your prefixes. So even if you hit your attack speed on the first try, you're still only profiting by about two divines over buying the bow um, that we've looked up on trade. So, yeah, just a very quick video, really to share my frustrations. At least I've got something usable now. It's not great, but it'll do. Um, so for now, thank you very much for watching. If I ever get the bow finished properly, I'll bring another video out. Um, take care and see you in the next one.